So today I'm going to be showing you how to connect the Hypervolt to the internet, how the app works, how to turn off the random delay so you can get on with your testing without having to wait for that, show you all the features, all the different lights. So let's get into it. The first thing you need to do is download the Hypervolt app and that looks like, like that symbol there. So we'll click on that. And this is a screen that will come up. So what you need to do from this point is push the start button and then it will search for your charger and there is mine there so you select that and then it checks the bluetooth allows you to adopt it and then it then you have to connect it up to the internet so what you do is you select network now i'm going to connect this up quickly to my clients with their password and then i'm going to say connect the network signal here it's moderate so that shouldn't be too much of a problem simple as that connected so from this point you just push the next and this brings up the main dash screen now what you want to do from here is go into settings at the top right hand corner and then scroll down to your hypervolt where you have these two options here the default schedule and the random start so the random start we're going to turn that off that means that we're not going to have this random delay between one second and ten minutes so i can get on with my testing now once you've completed all your testing you need to turn that random start back on. If you go back to the back button there, back, back to the home, the first thing I like to check is that the app and the charger is talking to each other. So if we go into settings, go into LED modes, and just select party mode. As you can see, the LEDs on the charger have changed. That tells me that this is talking now. You have different LED modes. You have Halloween, Festive, Red Alert, Turbo Boost, if we go back the other way you have this Ukraine one and the British flag. So as you can see I had an error come up there so what that was was I was just talking to it too quickly so you can see party mode's back on now so that's good. If we go back you have LED brightness where it's at 100% in a minute you can scroll it down so you're completely off or scroll it back up again so if you don't like your LED neons on you can just turn them off schedule charge if you go in there this is where you can set up your schedule charging so if you have an overnight EV tariff this is where you do it your energy tariff down the bottom here if we click that what you can put in here is your actual tariff rate that you pay per kilowatt and then it will tell you each charge how much it's, how much it's cost you. So we go back to the main dashboard. What we have there is it, it says plug and charge. If we click that, you can select schedule mode. And again, you can set up your scheduling there. And that's how you activate that. You have a lock symbol here. If we push that, the charger is now locked. What this means is the charger is now secure and no one else can use this charger. And then we have where it says stops there at the minute. If you have a car plugged in and it needs some charge, you can start it and stop it there. Simple as that. Once you've carried out all your testing though, what you need to do is go back into settings, go into your hypervolt and unadopt. What this now means is that my commissioning part is done and my customer now can download the app and adopt the charger. I hope you found that little guide useful. Um, I'm going to be doing this with all the other chargers that I install. So if you want to see those, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button.